CMS issues a reprieve for 2,500 nursing homes yet to report COVID-19 vaccination rates and new workplace COVID safety rules add protection and reporting requirements. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. Tomorrow starts CNA week. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly at our website at NACACNA.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. Nursing homes that have not reported required resident staff vaccination rates to federal officials will get a one-week reprieve before CMS begins assessing penalties. Reporting requirements went into effect last month with enforcement through civil monetary penalties originally slated to begin yesterday. But Ruth Katz, Senior Vice President of Policy for Leading Age, told providers on a coronavirus conference call that penalties will now be meted out to providers who do not report information by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, June 20th. Based on figures posted publicly last Thursday, less than 30% of skilled nursing providers had reportedly sent vaccination data for the week of May 30th to the National Health Safety Network. That share jumped significantly over the weekend with about 13,000 providers now reporting, said Katz, one of several provider group leaders to meet with new CMS Administrator Chiquita brooks Lashur for the first time Monday afternoon. Katz said the delay announcement came directly from brooks Lashur, who was confirmed on May 25th. As of Thursday, when submissions through May 30th were first posted publicly, only about 750 of the 15,000 plus U.S. nursing homes had reached a staff vaccination level of 75% or better. But CMS expected that number to rise as more reports came in and individuals predicted more to arrive close to the deadline. 15 months after the start of the pandemic, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, last Thursday issued an emergency temporary standard designed to protect healthcare staff, specifically including those in skilled nursing against COVID-19. The standard requires non-exempt facilities to conduct hazard assessments and draw up a written plan to mitigate the spread of the virus, provide some employees with N95 respirators or personal protective equipment, and ensure employees maintain a distance of six feet between workers. Additionally, employers are required to provide healthcare staff paid time off to get vaccinated and recover from any side effects. Employees who contract coronavirus or who are contagious must work remotely, be separated from other workers if possible, or be given paid time off up to $1,400 a week. Businesses with fewer than 500 employees may be reimbursed through tax credits under the American Rescue Plan. In line with existing CDC guidance, fully vaccinated healthcare staff are exempt from masking, distancing, and barrier requirements in well-defined areas and if there is no reasonable expectation that they will encounter another person infected with COVID-19. Healthcare providers must also continue to report work-related cases of COVID-19 on standard OSHA forms, and nursing homes must report staff testing information through the CDC's National Healthcare Safety Network. The emergency temporary standard is effective immediately after Federal Register publication. Employers must comply with most of these provisions within 14 days. OSHA said it will use enforcement discretion to avoid citing employers who miss compliance deadlines but make a good faith effort to comply. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful CNA week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.